I think corporate bond funds still uh, form part of any diversified portfolio. Um, yes, bond funds have done well, uh, but equity funds have done well, and I think what we have to bear in mind is that the two markets are you know, co-aligned. Uh, if people are nervous about bonds and bond yields rising, then that would also increase the risk-free rates and therefore uh, equities would be vulnerable. So I think we have to bear in mind that corporate bond funds in isolation uh, shouldn't be singled out for specific risks. And I personally, I do not believe that interest rates are going up meaningfully anytime soon and I think they'll be low for a generation. Um, the, if you look at the UK economy, uh, it is been growing relatively slowly, slower than the rest of the world uh, of late, and I think that's unlikely to improve anytime soon. Uh, Brexit is going to be a difficult process and lead to a degree of uncertainty. But longer term, looking out, uh, we have an aging population, uh, as the world does. Uh, aging populations, in my view, uh, will grow uh, less fast than they have in the past. Also, if we look at debt burdens, debt burdens, both at the national level and the personal level, have increased materially over the last 10 and 20 years. Uh, at some point in the future, uh, we won't be able to continue to uh, spend more than we earn. We're going to have to live within our means. I think the future economic environment is, won't have the benefit of the massive credit impulse tailwind that we've had in the past. So a combination of ageing populations, both in the UK and globally, you know, a difficult economic period for the UK, not tragic but difficult, and uh, very high debt burdens will lead to mediocre economic growth and therefore very low uh, base rates for a very long time to come. Well, our fund, relatively speaking, at £1.4 billion, is still pretty small. Uh, we have approximately 150 holdings. That compares to an industry average about 200 holdings and the large funds having 500, 600, maybe even up to 700 holdings. Uh, we do believe we can add value through stock selection. I think if your fund has over 500 holdings, I think the ability to do that is remote. Uh, our fund is still small enough to be able to actively manage it. Um, there has been plenty of column inches written on the lack of liquidity in the corporate bond market post-financial crisis. Uh, that persists to this day, uh, but we are still small enough to be able to um, move our fund around and, uh, and put our stock views into that. Uh, I would also say one thing, which is that we are a plain vanilla corporate bond fund. Uh, I think people who are buying a fund in the IA sterling corporate bond sector are looking for a fund that holds corporate bonds and doesn't take foreign currency risk, and that's exactly what we do. Uh, some of the larger funds out there appear to be um, using currency management as a core strategy now to help hit the performance targets. Uh, my view is that a sterling corporate bond fund should have no foreign currency exposure. I have no holistic problem with um, trackers or passives or ETFs. I think they work very well in like the US equity market, for example. A very defined S&P 500 index, very liquid um, you know, equity market. Uh, corporate bonds, unfortunately, their, their indices have many more bonds. The liquidity of any one bonds is a lot lower. Actually tracking the bonds is actually, tracking the bond indices is actually quite difficult. But the main issue is the vast majority of actively managed bond funds have materially less interest rate risk in them than the index. Uh, as the last five and ten years have unfolded, there's been a big extension or increase in the maturity of bond indices. So the the typical bond index today has a lot more interest rate risk in it than it used to have. So bond trackers, obviously, or ETFs, are following that trend, putting more and more interest rate risk into those vehicles, uh, and I think that that's not the right thing. I think you'd be far safer off in an actively managed portfolio with a lot less interest rate risk. So my biggest concern, apart from liquidity and tracking issues that are specific to the corporate bond market, is that they do contain materially more interest rate risk and I'm not sure that the people who are buying passives are fully aware of that point.